Hello, what's up everybody? It's Freaky Faith Reads here, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been three months. I am so sorry I made you all wait that long. I just had family issues, I had my schoolwork to focus on, and I had a lot of things personally going on, so I needed to take a long-ass break. Again, I am sorry that I left you all waiting. But, over the hiatus, I have gotten to 400 subscribers, and that makes me so fucking happy you guys seriously I I've said this before in all my other specials but I really never thought I'd get to this point um and that's just the damn truth I have never actually believed in myself if you all it, my personal friends know that I never actually thought I would make it to this point I always thought I'd stay at like a hundred or something but here I am, 400 subscribers later, and I welcome all my new subscribers to my channel. I'm sorry that you had to wait so long to see content for me that is new and that is, I'm gonna make better content for you all. I have a whole schedule going around so that I can do my schoolwork as well as having family time, as well as having my own hobbies, and as well as making YouTube videos for you lovely people. I shall now start uploading again Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for everybody and I can't wait to see the feedback because I am super excited to start making more original content for everybody. Anyways, let's get started with the Q&A. <clears throat> the first question I have here is from Deathly Logic. What was the driving force behind the creation of your YouTube channel? Now, my YouTube channel, the one I currently have because I've actually had uh, one in the past that me and my friend created together and that was a vlogging channel because we had been watching a lot of Dan and Phil and we had uh, <laughs> We had wanted to be like Dan and Phil, but then we kind of abandoned the channel and I decided to restart a channel for myself Where I would do creepy voice acting and creepy narrations and shit like that <laughs> and the reason I did this is because I do like to act, it is something I do like to do, but I am very, very shy and I have stage fright. And while I can talk better in front of a camera, I still get clammed up. And plus, I just do not want people to see what I look like because I think I'm ugly personally and I have other personal reasons. But you know, I, I love the idea of acting, it's a way for me to put myself in a different role almost. and. It was just a fun idea that I had. And what really pushed it home for me is how much I love to listen to uh, Mr. Creepypasta and uh, uh, Creeps McPasta. I used to love listening to them. And then I heard some of the smaller channels, and I'm just like, holy shit, these people are really good too. And so I decided, you know, let me make my own channel. And I actually had, a, I actually had my channel for about two years before I started, or no, about a year before I started getting involved with the community. I, well, a year to two years, I had had my channel and I didn't actually interact with the community. So I stayed at a really low point until I made my Freaky Faith Instagram and my Twitter and then my channel kind of blew up. So, <laughs> have you ever been in love before? Uh, how did they make you feel? And yeah, um, I have. I believe I am in love, <laughs> or I have been, and they made me feel like, okay, when, <laughs> when I felt that way, whenever I felt love for somebody, I've always felt like I would do anything for them, I'd always put their life before mine, um, and not only just like, oh, I love you like a, a boyfriend or something, no, if I, like, I genuinely care about you, even as a friend, I am willing to put your life before mine. <laughs> Which sounds crazy, but, um, you know, I've always felt like I should do anything I can to help them. Uh, anything I can to make them feel like they are loved. And you can ask my friends this, I've always been that kind of person. I've always been somebody who will uh, sacrifice my own things so that I can help take care of other people, uh, especially people that I do love. So, <laughs> Pop-Tarts or Toaster Strudel said the Ray Ray. Um, 
I've never tasted toaster strudels. Do not murder me. I have never ever had one of them. Um, I don't know why. I just haven't, so I guess Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Nikki Blue or Blue Boy in my Discord server is her nickname. By the way, if you want to join that Discord server, there's going to be a link down below. Um, Batman or Superman? Batman. All the fucking way. I love Batman. I think his character is really interesting. Um, and, I, and I love how he is progressed, especially through a lot of... Especially through the Arkham series. The, the Arkham video game series. I've never played it, but I've had to watch my dad play it. <laughs> But yeah, Bat Batman all the way, because his character is just so well developed and his storyline. Nah. <laughs> Another question from Deathly Logic. Why God made my dick crooked? Maybe he thought he was helping you out, man. <laughs> Any fandoms that you have a distaste for? Um, I don't really like the Five Nights at Freddy's fandom, and I really don't like the Creepypasta fandom. Which, sorry, this is probably going to get me away from my 400 sub special and put me back at 300. I do not like the creepypasta fandom because of the sexualization of the characters. I think it's weird. <laughs> I think it's weird that you think a man with no face can be sexy and uh, have sex with people. I don't know. Question from GP, GP Creepy. GP is creepy. <laughs> Number one, he has three questions here. Are traps gay? I, I'm not getting into this argument because this fucker will get me into a fucking whole debate if traps are gay or not. So, that's the one question I won't answer. Everybody can answer that in the comments. <laughs> Who is your favorite narrator? My favorite narrator is, I have multiple that tie, but my all-time favorite is GP here because I think he has a really good voice acting technique and uh, it and it's just amazing so you guys check out his channel and also check out the podcast we have there hashtag self-promotion uh pipsy or conk meaning pepsi or coke and coke all the way i, f I f can't i can't i can't drink pepsi to me it tastes like peps <laughs> to me drinking pepsi tastes like i'm drinking a fucking soda can full of ants <laughs> nikki she says mother and one of the jokes is that i'm basically her mom What's your favorite horror story you've ever read? Mmm, I'm not sure actually. I really liked the 1999 story, but there was a lot of gore in it that I did not particularly like. Um, so I don't know actually. I, I, I wouldn't know what my favorite would be because there's just a lot that I do like. And yeah. <laughs> Hello. Gentleman asks, what is your honest opinion on of the YouTube of YouTube in its current state? I think it's going to hell. <laughs> I think YouTube is focusing mainly on the big creators, the ones who are considered family friendly, basically who have a bunch of kid audience members because they know kids mostly watch YouTube. Um so they're focusing on them instead of like Chan like small channels which I think is a big thing that needs to be talked about is that small channels aren't paid attention to and it's really hard as a small content creator to grow because it's not the fact that we don't work hard you know if any any big youtuber that says well the reason they're small is because they don't have talent or uh, they just don't work hard enough it's bullshit I work really hard on my videos I I usually spend the whole day editing them uh, through my phone and that's just because I have a phone if they say this is because I'm lazy it's because I just don't have I don't have really anything else I'm starting to transition though over to working on my computer so yay for that but uh yeah that is my honest opinion on the YouTube of YouTube in its current state I think it's getting fucked I, I think it's more of a um <laughs> more of a Let's find the next Disney Channel star instead of, oh, these people have good content. Anyway, Edge of Night has asked me, do you believe in the paranormal? I do believe in the paranormal. I do believe there is some freaky shit out there that we don't know about, you know, and um, I am also a Christian, <laughs> so 
uh, I'm a Christian, and I, I personally believe that uh, we were not the only ones created on earth, I believe. There is a very strong possibility that if God created us, why didn't he just create other people too? So anyways, or on the, uh, other things too. Uh, but yeah, I have a very strange belief system. <laughs> but yeah, I do believe in the paranormal. And the last few questions. Three from Deathly Logic. What kind of nipples is the best nipple um, pierced? <laughs> what do ghosts taste like? I imagine they taste like cotton fucking candy. Do you believe in the paranormal? I already answered that. And have you had any experiences? I actually have had experiences. Um, not the ones that my friends are going to think of when I, I did the Snapchat thing and I was aiming it at a picture of my mom that my dad had painted. And then the, and then the little tongue thing went with the, you know, the that thing. But um, I'm not talking about that. No, when I was younger, um, I... Uh, I would always get really cold in my room, and at one point, my parent, because <laughs> I had an imaginary friend named Grammy, who was a ghost, and so my, um, <clears throat> my parents, uh, as a way to try to win a contest for ghost hunters, had recorded their, basically recorded my, my telling of Grammy. And so, at one point, I felt my bed shake, and I figured it was just my dad, like, shaking his knee or something, and I, I told them that, and I was like, yeah, my bed fucking shook, why, why, what happened there? And they just look kind of, like, at each other, like, what the fuck? <clears throat> uh, what scientific event in the future are you most looking forward to? Uh, immortality. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I mean, there's a lot of... I'm not very into science, but there is some scientific stuff that does fascinate me and does, I do see as cool shit. <laughs> so anyways, that's it for the 400 Q&A. Uh, if you liked it, please give me a like down below to make my day. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope you enjoy being part of my little freaks. And... As, and, of course, I will be uploading again real soon. I have my schedule all planned out, and I am super fucking excited for everybody to see my content that will be coming out. And, anyways, that's it for this video. Again, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, thoughts, curiosities, please leave them in the comments down below. And, as always, stay freaky, my little freaks. I'll see you later. And, thanks for getting me to 400. Mm-hmm. <laughs>